after a beautiful 50 degree sunny day, some fog rolled in and the temperatures dropped. CBS 2 photojournalist Pat Hartney still caught a lot of people enjoying the mild weather along the waterfront. You know, near 55 degrees, certainly different than this. Check it out. Video from the Groundhog Day blizzard in 2011. What a mess. People abandoning their cars after being stuck on Dusaba Lakeshore Drive. It was one of the largest snowstorms in Chicago history with more than 20 inches of snow. Well, Albert, it's hard to complain about the little blip that it seems like ah. that we went through in January, but boy, it seems like it's getting even better now. Yeah, especially the long range forecast with above average temperatures. That storm back in 2011 coming in with 50 to 60 mile per hour winds that produced snow drifts two to five feet. Ooh. And it was just a few years later in 2015 that another big winter storm came in with another 20 inches of snow. So we're doing just fine this year. <laughs> so far, so good. Let me show you what we're tracking. Uh, we're going to be saying these words a lot cooler by the lake because that's the forecast now the weekend even into early next week this persistent wind off of Lake Michigan coming off those cool waters at 35 degrees will keep temperatures cooler by the lake tomorrow Saturday at 42 for the high but stuck in the 30s near the lake 44 on Sunday but stuck in the upper 30s even on Sunday but more sunshine this weekend so we're happy to report that and rain chances they don't come back for about a week we'll have a slight chance of rain next Thursday a little bit better opportunity for showers a week from tomorrow Here's a look at those high temperatures today. Today was the warmest afternoon here in the Chicago area since Christmas Day with temperatures at O'Hare running 23 degrees above average. One degree shy tying the record at O'Hare at 55. We did tie the record set back in 1968 at 56 degrees, but there's the cool air. The cool air's moved in behind a front that also brought in the low clouds right as we rolled through rush hour. 37 at the loop right now, 36 in Skokie. We have mid 30s out towards the west, including Aurora at 35, upper 30s in Kankakee, and also some upper 30s here in northwest Indiana. And by the time we head into tomorrow morning, low to mid 30s will be on the map. We have some sun in the forecast by the afternoon time, but because that wind continues off the lake, Good chunk of the area stays in the 30s for tomorrow. A couple of spots south of I-80 make it into the low 40s, which is still above average. So got to remember that part of it, but a lot cooler than the mid 50s we had today. So coolest temperatures right lakeside tomorrow at 37. Winnetka Lake Forest at 37 degrees may briefly make it to 40 degrees at Midway, but staying in the upper 30s in Gary and also in Burns Harbor and Indiana Dunes. So the weekend, nice, mostly sunny, light east winds, but it's that easterly wind that will keep temperatures upper 30s near the lake. Get away from the lake. We've got some mid 40s for Saturday afternoon. Joliet on Saturday at 47, 44 on Sunday, still in the loop, stuck in the 30s for highs, but it could be near 50 degrees in places like Joliet and Kankakee and Ottawa at 49. So you get the idea. Close to the lake, the cooler it's going to be, not just this weekend, but also into early next week as high pressure lifts up towards the north. That gives us that wind off the lake. And then finally, the high begins to back off, but not till about Wednesday. And that allows for this new system to come in. And that's why we have chances of rain. They start off small a week from today get a little bit better a week from tomorrow. So weather pattern, it's remaining quiet. Upper 30s tomorrow, 40s this weekend with more sunshine and the 40s continue into next week. Even some 50s in the forecast a week from today with some showers on the nose of that low. We'll keep an eye on that. All right. Thank you, Albert.